Hello everybody, it is me Solita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are making another Sims 4 family tree. This is like the fourth video I've made of me making a family tree for my Sims. But today, we are actually gonna be exploring a new service that's popped up on the scene, which is the Sims Dynasty Tree. The Sims Dynasty Tree was nice enough to reach out to me and gift me a premium version of their service in order to make this review. So thank you so much to the Sims Dynasty Tree for gifting me a premium subscription. I'm really excited to see what it has to offer I've looked into it just a little bit. Not too much, but I am so far really impressed with what I see. So today, we will be making a whole new family tree for my Sims 4 legacy family. The Volkov, Kialoha, Kibo, Meshram, Vitor, etc. family. And I'll be taking you guys along with me. So let's get into it. Oh, and also, there is a little surprise at the end of this video. So I'd recommend watching the whole thing through if you'd like a chance to use a Sims Dynasty tree for free. Okay, let's get into it. So this is the Sims Dynasty tree tree's homepage. Let's talk about it. Create a dynasty. Tell about the fates of your characters. Sims share warm memories and history that lasts for generations. And the Sims Dynasty tree service can help you do that. Scroll down a little bit and it'll tell you what the Sims Dynasty tree is. Necessary instructions. We have written detailed instructions for our service that you will find the answers if you have any questions. Easy editing. We've organized the tree's life and the Sims in it so you can add a character and edit their information right here and now without unnecessary clicks, tabs, or open windows. Tree customization. We've rendered several options for displaying your sims in the tree, so you can always choose how best to present the characters to the viewer. Cozy community. We've created an already familiar gallery so that you can browse dynastic trees created by players like you and share their own. Informative character cards. We've added a gallery of photos and all sorts of fields for entering information to the sims' profiles so you can tell the viewer everything about them and more. I love the design of this. I think that's really cool. Flexible background settings. We've painted some basic backgrounds and asked the palette to do a little work for for us so you can change the background to your liking. And this is a really cool feature. Have you been growing your tree on the Plum Tree app for a long time and now you don't want to lose progress? If you have had the time to download your tree, you can upload it to our site absolutely free and everything will remain as before. And then they show you an example of what a character card would look like, a gallery of photos in each character's profile. We consider screenshots from the game to be an integral part of Dynasty life. Shared family photos, portraits of Dynasty members, and screens that capture important moments of the Sims life's journey. All this is the memory of your favorite digital little people. So preserve it for a long time. And if you look over here on their example, you can have photos for their different life stages, which is so cool. Discover the history of your Sim in more detail and save the most important stages of his life captured in photos with the help of the gallery. So you can upload all of your old photos of them. Show how your Sim has changed throughout his or her life through photos at each age stage, which again, I think is super, super cool. Thank goodness I took pics of my Sims recently <laughs> because I will be doing this today. Fill out the photo albums of each generation in the about the dynasty card and then over here at the top they have a page for the instructions on how to make a sims tree and what subscriptions they offer they have one for one month for six months and for 12 months and they do have a free version what's available for free basic and essential functions unlimited number of ancient sims and generations uploading a tree from plum tree app choice of tree color several variations of sims avatars and relationship lines between them singling out the heir of the dynasty display life forms and pet icons in the tree adding additional fields with information, tree gallery, basic backgrounds for the tree, palette for changing the background color, and basic emoji. If you upgrade to their subscription, these are the things they have to offer. An unlimited photo gallery in the character card, unlimited photo gallery for every generation of the dynasty, ability to add photos of sims by age categories, premium icons to highlight the air of the dynasty, premium sim avatars, premium tree backgrounds, ability to upload your own background, create a gradient background of two or more colors, premium emoji, additional options for future customization of the tree, and premium site features that will be added as the site evolves. All right, we've looked at everything that the service has to offer. Now let's hop into the tree editor and make our very own family tree. I'm here in the tree editor. There is nothing here because I have not made any trees yet. So we're here in the tree editor. We have a blank slate. Time to add our very first tree. Dynasty one, amazing. Let's go over here to where it says edit. And immediately we're left with a new blank slate. Let's click on it. And then we have some options pop up. We have edit, add a sim or link to an another tree. Let's go ahead and do edit. And here's our character card. So obviously the founder of my legacy is Alexis Volkov. So we're going to have to add all of her information in, and this is what we can add. And we have her first name, last name, form of life, which I'm guessing. Yeah. It's if she's in a cult or a regular Sim. And oh, what did I see? We have zombie. We have witch. We have genie. All right. So it leaves occult options for the Sims two and three as well. That is so cool. So this is interactive for people that play the Sims two or Sims three. 
Mark as heir, their gender. We can add her parents in. We can add a full on biography down here. We can add her date of birth and her date of death. Perfect. She's been dust for almost a year now. Yep, she died September 5th, 2023. By the time you're watching this, it'll probably already be September. Rip to my girl. Rip to my girl. Okay, we have the traits, aspiration, education, and career. I love how that's already added into here. And then we could add more information if we wanted to. Then we have the photo gallery. Oh, look at this. Yes, this is the life stages. We can add her in every single life stage. We only saw her from young adult and above, but we could add the kids. They weren't infants, but we could add everything else. And we have an option to select pets. Alexis didn't have any pets, but yes, let's go ahead and add all of her information in now. I just recently took pictures <laughs> for the family tree. <laughs> all right, so here's Elder Alexis. Press done, and there she is. Alexis Volkov. She was a werewolf, and she was female. Biography, I'm not going to do that right now, but I will add in her date of birth and date of death. Date of birth is going to be August 25th, 2022. Her birthday was just recently. Happy birthday, dust bag. That's when I created her place of birth. I'm just going to say San Myshuno because that is where her story started in San Myshuno when she was being a major hoe bag. Mark as deceased. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it automatically... <laughs> made her black and white. I love that. Okay, her date of death was September 5th, 2023. Oh, that says the 4th. Jesus. I know my numbers. And the cause of death was old age. Okay, her traits. Let's see if I can remember this. Oh, all the traits are already loaded into the service. That's really cool. And if I'm looking correctly, I'm seeing some Sims 2 and Sims 3 traits as well. Magic hands. That doesn't sound like it's a Sims 4 trait, nor does Moot. That sounds like a Sims 3 trait. Wow. It was evil, squeamish, cheerful, family-oriented, and perfectionist for the main ones that come with the Sims. Can I add custom ones? Because she did have some custom ones. So one of her custom traits was cool. Add cool. Oh, you can. You can add custom traits. That's really nice. I think another one was hot. All right, sick. Those were her traits. And then her aspiration was soulmate. Education. Do they have like high school diploma? No, but I'm guessing I can just, I could just add it in. The See, that's great. I love this. It makes it so easy. And then her career. God, what did she do? She was in public relations, right? PR? I couldn't tell you. Okay, I'm just going to leave career alone. <laughs> I'm going to save it before I move on to the next step. And changes have been saved. Okay, so now we have photos. Okay, so we don't have any of her life stages up until young adult. So I'm going to go ahead and add her young adult photo in. Oh, I love this photo of her. I love this outfit of hers. Now her adult photo. And lastly, her elder photo. Fantastic. I went ahead and saved it again and we'll X out. And there she is. Oh, and there's a little werewolf icon above her. That's so cute. So all the occults have little icons above them. That's really cool. I really do like that. So you could see from the moment you look at the tree who's in a cult and who's not. So now it's time to add in her love interest. So I'm going to be adding all five of them, which would be Christopher, Wolfgang, Ty, Roy, and Bjorn. Because I want to see how how this service differentiates them like husband flirt enemy whatever it is so we're gonna add a sim and we'll add a partner oh wait looking back at that you can add an adopted child straight from the tree that's cool okay i'm wondering now if there is a custom little icon for a cult if there's a custom icon for adopted children as well okay back to partner we're gonna add christopher in now christopher volkov form of life he is a werewolf he is a male date of birth have no idea place of birth have no idea and he's not dead his traits i believe off the top of my head are perfectionist genius and family oriented his aspiration is successful lineage he has a high school diploma and his career is that he is a freelancer oh that's so cute <laughs> okay here's our different relationship options we have meet betrothed oh my god that is so bridgerton married woohoo partner breaking an engagement oh t divorced widow widower and ex-partner okay we're gonna do widow widower oh that's depressing <laughs> also i need to edit him a little bit more because i need to add his adult photo he's only ever been an adult in the whole series because he is immortal but i'll go ahead and i'll re-add it anyway perfect will we ever see christopher as an elder who knows 
and saved. Okay, so there's one of Alexis's love interests. We still have four more to go. So we're going to add a sim. We're going to add a partner. It's time for our boy, Roy D. <laughs> Dylan. Oh, Roy D. Dylan. One of the first victims of this, of this save file. Oh my goodness. It's been so long. It's been like two years since this man died. He's a sim. He is dead as hell. I have no idea what his traits, his aspiration, any of that was because he got culled pretty recently in the legacy. <laughs> you know, there's no reason for him to really be around anymore considering, you know, Alexis is dust like him. I figure maybe he's haunting her in the afterlife or something. So, you know, his career though, I could definitely put something. I could put drug dealer because that's what he was. Oh my God. What? It moved him to the side? No. <laughs> no. I want him here. Okay, we're, I'll have to figure it out. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to add Christopher last because so, he's like the most important one. We'll put ex-partner for him because they were together in a relationship for like two seconds. And then she broke up with him because she cheated on him with Chris. Next up is going to be, let's do Bjorn. Bjorn Beerson, Another one of Alexis's conquests and victims. Okay, I added all of his information in. Bjorn Bjergsen. He was a sim. He is male. Oh, I forgot to put he dead. <laughs> He was poisoned by Alexis Volkov. His traits are gloomy, slob, and good. Honestly, looking back at it now, Alexis, you dodged a bullet. You really, you really dodged a bullet. I mean, for real. You would have been cleaning up after this man. You would have been aiding his poor, pathetic feelings. He would have been good. He would have been boring. He would have hated everything you would have ever done. Dodged a bullet. Chris matched her freak. Matched her freak to the very, very end. He had the soulmate aspiration. He had a high school diploma, and he was an agent handler. Oh my God. It keeps moving her love interest to the side. Chris, what are you doing all the way over there? And for them. Maybe, maybe meet. Next up is Ty Lum. All right, added in all his info, Ty Lum. He died from old age. His traits were neat, snob, and loves outdoors. His aspiration was angling ace. He had a high school education and he was a janitor. Oh my God, I keep forgetting to mark them as dead, as dust. Right where you belong, forgiving my girl, crabs. And then with them, I'm going to say woohoo partners. <laughs> Look at that devious little icon. I love it. And last but not least would be Wolfgang Wilder. Those are all of Alexa. This is hose right there. <laughs> and then for them, I think I'll put Woohoo Partners as well. Now, why is Christopher all the way over there? God damn it. Can I add him back? Do I have to redo the whole thing? Oh, I have to redo the whole thing. Okay, let me let me do that because no, I don't want him over there. <laughs> and there we go. We have all of Alexis's hoes and now we can move on to the kids. So I wanna start off in order and I noticed that you can put your adopted child in here. Okay, so if I'm going in complete order of all the generation two kids, it would go Rory, Jacob, Ezra, Autumn, Nicole, Edward, uh, Clint and Renesmee. So first up would be Rory. Let me go ahead, add adopt a child. We can choose a second parent. Oh, interesting. And we'll add Christopher and save. I added all of Rory's information. Werewolf, unfortunately, there's no gender selection for non-binary. So I'm just gonna check it as female for now. Self-assured, ambitious, hot-headed, Renaissance sim, high school diploma, and they're a freelancer. Go ahead and save, see what that looks like. And there's Rory. And now I'm wondering, there's a dash line for Rory and then a solid line for the two of them. Is the dash line what differentiates an adopted child versus a biological child? That's what I am thinking, but we'll have to find out in a bit because right now we're going to do Jacob, who is also an adopted child. All right, here's Jacob. Jacob Volkov, a werewolf. He was male. He is deceased. Oh my god, I know you guys always ask me. What happened to Shanna? Reviving him. Patience. Patience. Okay? Patience. I have not forgotten about that storyline. <laughs> I promise you. I have not, okay? I love Jacob just as much as you guys do. And it's coming. He died from fatal illness. His traits were outgoing, vegetarian, slob, charming, delightful. His aspiration was emissary of the collective. He was a college dropout and he was a retail associate at the time of his death. And I also did add some of his photos. I unfortunately forgot to take a photo of him when he was a young adult. Whoops. But I added his teen photo and his adult photo. So we can go ahead and save. And there he is. Perfect. Okay, now it's time for dad. I mean, Ezra. My disappointment. Oh, and if you're enjoying this video so far, maybe think about leaving a like, comment, and subscribe for me. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. Okay, and here he is, Ezra Volkov, werewolf, male. He has a lot of traits. I totally forgot how many traits this man has. Active, loyal, adventurous, music lover, cheerful, family-oriented, smart, linguist, nerd brain aspiration. He does have a degree in computer science, and he is currently working as a code monkey. And I added all of his pictures from the time he was a toddler till when he's adult, which is now. Look how cute. Oh my god. God, remember when Ezra was a nerd? <laughs>
go ahead and save. And there he is. And just like I thought, yep, a dotted line means that it's an adopted child. A regular line means that it is their biological child, which I think is really cool. Again, off the bat, right when you see this tree, you'll be able to differentiate who's an occult, who's a human, who's adopted, who's not, which I think is really nice. I also just want to click on the profile and see what it looks like without editing. It shows you your form of life, the partners, and exactly what they are, which is really cool. Date of birth, date of death, all their traits and all their information. I don't know why high school diploma is there twice. And then her photos. Okay, so it removes any blank spaces. So if I look at Ezra's right here, it removed the newborn and the infant phases and the elder phase. Nice. Okay, next up is our air autumn. And I'm really curious to see what the air line looks like. Okay, and here's autumn. Autumn Kilo Ha. She is just a typical sim. She is female. Traits are perfectionist, kleptomaniac, loner, cheerful, child of nature, and gentle. Again, a thousand traits. She's an outdoor enthusiast, high school diploma, and she's a construction technician and a freelancer. And yes, I added all of her photos as well. Oh, and then I forgot to actually mark her as the heir. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, she has this little plum bob over her. That's cute. And I think if you go over here, tree style. Okay, we have some different options. We have the tree color, displaying sims, lines of relationship, displaying a successor, and the background. So let's play around with that a little bit. Tree color, we can choose between blue or white. Okay, I'm liking the blue. Displaying sims. Okay, I see. We can add like their names down below. We can make their photos square and we can make their photos square with their names below it. Okay, I think I like this one. I want their names to be present. We can make the lines straight or we can make them curved. Okay, I'm liking the curved one too. And then we have displaying a successor. So she has this plum bob one, but if you have the premium version, you can also add a crown. Okay, you can add this different plum bob. We have another crown and then it looks like we have a tiara maybe. Cute. And with these three, you can actually choose different colors. So if we use the standard plum bob, we have the options between blue, white, or the green plum bob. For this crown, we have blue or white. And for this plum bob, which is a little bit more detailed, if you can see right there, we have the options of blue, white, or green. And I think I like this one the most. I think it's very simplistic and cute. And then we have our background colors here. We have some basic ones, we have some premium ones, and some backgrounds from other simmers. Or we can just use a color wheel. You know, the thing that The Sims 4 still doesn't have after all these years? You can add that too. See how easy it is to add a color wheel? Let's look at their basic background. So we have this all white one. We have this pink purple gradient with these little plum bobs down here. Oh, and we can also adjust the transparency. Nice. And then there's this color, which looks like it's the color from the gallery when you save Sims to the gallery. And then we have our premium ones. This one is super witchy. Oh, okay. And there's different colors with this design on it. So this is like the tan one. We got this darker brown one. And we have this black one right here. I'm guessing these are neutral colors. And then we can upload our own custom backgrounds if you want. But I'm thinking I like this one, so I'm gonna save it. And those are some of the decorative features you can add to your tree, which I really like. I think they have a nice variety of options here. Okay, back to adding family members. Next up would be Nicole Vitor, my forgotten child. My forgotten child that lives in Forgotten Hollow. I think right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add all the kids from Generation 2 and then add a few of the kids from Generation 3 because I want to see how it interacts with like cousins, nieces and nephews, grandparents. So let me go ahead and add Nicole, Edward, Clint, and Renesme. All right, here is Alexis and Christopher's full litter of children, eight of them to be exact. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add their partners because I want to see what that looks like. So first up would be Ezra, add a sim, a partner, and we're going to go ahead and add Mason in. The most hated partner of them all, probably. And here's Mason's card, Mason Meshram. He's a sim. His traits are romantic, dog lover, and smug. His aspiration, yes, is psychopathic tendencies. He wants to be a serial killer. Mason is probably the Monroe DeVos of the same file, insanely bisexual, and for some reason has not wifed his partner up yet. He has a degree in art history, and he's a grand steward of the arts. And there it is. We can change that to betrothed. And there it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and add everybody else's partners. All right. And there are all of their partners. So we added Mason and Ezra. They are betrothed, which means engaged. We've added Autumn and Shanna, who are married, Nicole and Caleb, who are married, Edward and Hillary, who are married, and last but not least, Renesme and Dex who are betrothed or engaged. <laughs> this tree has gotten so big, so fast. Okay, well, we're done with Gen 2. So now we have Gen 
three. This is gonna take, this is gonna take a minute. This is for sure gonna take a minute. Starting off all the way at the left with Rory and her daughter, her adopted daughter, Sawyer Oaklow. And there it is, generation three. We got Sawyer, the adopted child. We got Jock and Alexander. I even added Dustbag River, as well as his three younger siblings, with Aurora being highlighted as the heir. And this is also the spellcaster icon, which looks like it's just little magical particles, which is super cute. I added all of the Volkov kids. By the way, can we take a minute to just have some thoughts and prayers for Micah over here? Oh, Micah. Oh, Micah. I called it. I called it in that video where I said that I think Micah's going to be a clone of his father. I was right. He is a clone of his father, Edward, with his mother, Hillary's color palette and his grandfather, Christopher's jawline. Nina turned out gorgeous. I don't know about y'all. And Lila and Anahi, I have hope mainly for Anahi. Lila, though, uh, one thing's that she's orange. Two, I don't know. She looks, she's looking more like Edward to me as she, uh, as she grows up. And that's, that's terrifying. So, and there we have it. That is majority of the Volkov family tree. It is at least the important parts of the Volkov family tree. And I feel like since we've done all this, it's time for me to say what I think about this service, the Sims Dynasty tree. I really love these little icons that you have for the occults and for the relationship panels. I love that the adopted children have these dotted lines. I love how you can change the shape of the tree, the color of the tree. I like how you can show off the successor of the tree that you don't have to stick to this plumb bomb if you don't want to. You can use the crown or different variations of the plumb bob. I really love this this life stages feature. I think this is my favorite thing about this tree is that you can add different pictures of all their life stages. Super cool. And I really do like the character card layout. And I love that you can add their date of birth, their place of birth, their date of death, and their cause of death. Really love that. I really love how they incorporated the traits and the aspirations from the old Sims games, like two and three. And I love this pets panel right here. And I figure maybe I should go ahead and add a pet real quick for Nicole and Caleb because they have two cats. So you have nickname, gender, and their traits. And you can also add a little biography. This is Nicole's and Caleb's, one of their cats. This is Kiara, spelt with a Q. So original, you two, so original. She is female, and I'm gonna go ahead and select show the icon of the pet in the tree. Oh, it's a little paw. So if I click on Nicole, then it'll show her pets over here. Oh! Let me go ahead and add Midnight as well. We have Kiara and we have Midnight. So cute. <laughs> now, the only thing I would say I do not like about this service is probably the fact that the Sims aren't automatically saved to like a database of some sort. For example, earlier when I was putting in all of Alexis's love interests, I don't like how it moved Christopher to the end. And when I deleted him so I could re-add him in, all of his information was gone. If I mess up somehow, I have to delete the Sim and completely add all the information back again again. I hope that they upgrade it in the future where all the sims are saved. But besides that, I have no complaints about this tree. It's it's a really cool service. Oh, let me name this too. You have to double click to rename it. Legacy family tree. Up here, we have about the dynasty as well. We can add a little photo in, I'm guessing for gallery purposes, and then some additional photos in here. Data foundation. We started this series on September 15, 2022. That's when I first started it. And then we have four generations at the moment because Sawyer just gave birth to a baby named BJ. BJ. Let me just go ahead and add him real quick. BJ. What on earth? earth oh my god like she actually spelt out bj like i can't anyways bj is the first child of generation four and his father who was sawyer's husband died a day after he was born and he died from drowning his name was chad yep chad sawyer you make some great decisions and then up here it says about the author and you can go ahead and put your own photo up there and links to some accounts that you have i don't have any of these accounts but i have a youtube account fantastic shameless self promo overall i'm really liking the service i'm really glad to see some new sims family tree websites are popping up now since plum tree shut down because having sims family trees is so important to me i love to keep track of every single detail of my sims's lives and this is a great service to do so and if you're interested in viewing this family tree that I just made. The link will be down in the description of this video and it'll always be in my link tree. By the time you're watching this video, it will be updated with descriptions, other details, and photos. Now, I said at the beginning of this video, if you waited till the end, I would have a little surprise for you. Well, here it is. I've teamed up with the Sims Dynasty tree to organize a giveaway. 
Yay! That's right, you guys. The Sims Dynasty Tree and I will be giving away three premium year subscriptions for the Sims Dynasty Tree website. Yes. If you remember earlier, I was telling you guys about their subscriptions and what they have to offer. Things such as an unlimited photo gallery for your character cards, the ability to add photos of Sims by age categories, and etc. So many more features. We will be giving away three of those year-long subscriptions. If you'd like a chance to be one of the three winners, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, be subscribed to my channel, Solita Sims, and comment down below who from this entire chaotic, large family of mine, the legacy family, which family member is your favorite and why. This giveaway ends in one week on the date posted on the screen right now and will be announced here on YouTube community and on my Twitter, Solita Sims. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you did. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for the Sims Dynasty tree. Good luck with the giveaway. And with that ends this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.